Welcome to another episode of Behind the Studs, your home improvement and remodeling podcast, where the two most entertaining guys discuss the do's and don'ts in home construction and in the remodeling industry. Remember that you can nail it, paint it, or just tune into the show. How about that? Uh, here are your hosts, Colin Shaw and Jimmy Driscoll. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Season 2, Episode 3. That's what it is. Episode 3. I can't believe it. Yeah. And our apologies to everybody that, you know, can't make it a full two weeks without listening to us. You know, really? Just, you know, they were looking for us last week. Like, what I know, happened? I apologize. It just, so. it just uh, work and a bunch of other things that I need to discuss, and we'll, yeah. we'll talk more about it. Um, so, New Englanders, I yeah. know this has really got nothing to do with the uh, Floridians because you all think we're just a bunch of wusses because <laughs> we're getting this, this heat and everything uh-huh. else that's going uh-huh. on right now. Um, so we're trying to beat the heat. A lot of guys have been working, a lot of construction guys, yeah. uh, trying to take a half a day because of the heat. Um, and then I'm seeing homeowners out there just passing out. Sure. They're out there. What's with the runners? <laughs> what, what are you stupid people doing? They cannot stop. Why? I don't know. I, it's ridiculous. I, I mean, like I said, you know, earlier when you and I were talking about it, they're even out there in the snow. And I'm afraid my car is going to, like, skid out and hit them. Slush them. But I'm like, take the day off. It's all right. It's okay, but they or, can't. They're addicted. I know. I they're, know. Or get, get, a, get an elliptical. Right. That's what I'm, I was going to say. Get watch a, TV. Get a, treadmill. get a treadmill. My God. I'm telling you. I have no. a treadmill. It holds uh, dirty clothes on it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but it's a good dryer. It's a it's good, a good dryer. dryer. It is. It oh is. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> so people are out there. Listen. Yeah. Uh, that are working out there, working out in the yard, especially don't work out in the high high sun, the high heat. Sure. Best time to work is early in the morning um, mm-hmm. and then let the sun pass Yep, and then go back out there. But you got to hydrate, 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 Lots of hydrate. water. Lots of water. Yep. You get injured. A um, couple things, heat exhaustion, heat stroke. Mm-hmm. Um, one sign of, I think, heat stroke is you ain't sweating no more, which right. is so dangerous. Yep. Very, very dangerous. All of a sudden you feel great because you're like, oh, I'm not sweating anymore. Right. I must have gotten used to it. No. Mm-hmm. Worse, mm-hmm. your body's Bad. overheating. Yep. Boom. You crash. Yep. So a couple of tips that I do, um, I've gotten heat exhaustion before, uh, close to heat stroke a long time ago, but you're always susceptible to that. Mm-hmm. Once you kind of like break that seal, your body is, you know, you oh, gotta, no kidding. You know, I didn't realize body, that. Yeah. Okay. Long, hmm. It was roofing a long time ago. Ugh. And uh, <laughs> yeah, everything went boo. Mm-hmm. Um, so one thing that we, I learned in CPR was if the head is red, raise the head. If the face is pale, raise the tail. So you lay them down in the shade and you raise their feet if mm-hmm. their face is pale. Okay. You're okay. So you want to do that. So to prevent all that, yeah. which is really good, yep. um, uh, Gatorade, mm. which brings back, and you don't gulp the Gatorade, sip it over the, over the course of the time and drink it with water too. Yeah. Um, Inter- intermix back yeah. and forth. Yep. Yeah. Back and forth. Yep. That's one thing. Um, potato chips, salted potato chips, hmm. because it retains the water in your body. Doesn't make you more thirsty though. Um, no, not really. No, because no, your your body's working. Okay. So it kind of slows that down a little bit. Yep. Uh, I found out that works. And here's a good one. Tums. Really? Take a Tums if you're working and exerting yourself outside because if you're not replenishing certain things like electrolytes and stuff, you tend to cramp up. Mm. Your feet, your okay. leg, your limbs. Yep. Just a Tums. It's got the calcium in it. It, it keeps you going. Um, huh. And that was... That helped out really good, especially at night, you know, um, because that can, you know, you go to bed and all of a sudden, boom, nobody wants that leg cramp. It's terrible. Oh, yeah, you no, know? no. You know, bananas are good, too, of course. Great potassium. potassium and yep. stuff like that. Yeah, it's good for you. So be careful out there, people. Well, I don't um, know if you saw or not, but um, this, Jan- this July is the hottest July ever recorded since they've been doing the recording since like 1905. No kidding. Yeah. In New England. In, in, in Connecticut. So right. this is the hottest July it's, it's been on record. Yeah, and everyone in Florida is going, what's this? <laughs> what's this? Because but if I, if I say what the average temperature was that made it the highest, then people are going to definitely think we're wusses. Right. 79. Really? Yeah, the previous record was 78.9. Oh, okay. So it's really... You yeah. Know, we have today and tomorrow to <laughs> bring it up to maybe there we go. 80. There we go. <laughs> you never know. Yeah. You never so then know. we just battle down there with the Floridians when it gets cold. Yep. yep exactly. And you're freaking wearing jackets and it's freaking 50 <laughs> degrees out. They wear coats. I, Shut up. As, as people may know, I, I spent a couple of years in Myrtle Beach when I was younger. Yeah. And there was always Canadian Week 
It was in March. <laughs> We're down at the beach looking at these guys going, what the hell is the matter with you? Running right into the to the ocean, yeah. swimming. It's great. Of course. It's like 50 degrees or yeah. something. They think it's beautiful. <laughs> We're like, you're oh out of your God. mind. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> Throw me in the beach, the water. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, Put down the matu. We gotta go swimming. We'll do the shit rock later. Let's go. Right. Hey. Oh. Hey. Hey. oh my god. So uh how's your week, man? Busy. Yeah, I'm very okay. busy with me too. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah I was I've been working on my uh screen and porch still. So uh-huh. nice. This weekend was uh starting to tile. So it's those uh Porcelain tiles, they're, um, I think they're like six inches wide by 40 inches long. Yeah, that's a new trend, isn't it? Yeah, but I'm going to, this happened to me once before, and it caused a big rift between me and a homeowner, but now it just happened to me. So if you're going to do the 40 inch lengths, learn one thing every once in a while, and it's not all that infrequent, it comes up quite a bit, they cup. So your two ends are perfectly smooth to the other tile, yeah. but then it bows up in the middle. It's What causes that? They're saying that it's the length of them, that they can't, whatever the, the process is for whatever they do with it. And, and the boxes are all laying perfectly flat, right. stacked on top of each other. So it's not it's like you're bending it. It's the way, know, they, bake. It. It's it's the way they bake. The way they bake, yeah. So you just have to be prepared for that. They look awesome. They look great. But it's just frustrating when you're trying to get it all. And if you, you can push down on the center a little bit and the sides will pop up. Oh, yeah. But you, yeah, you, know, I... you just have to just let it be. That is the tile. That's the way no, it goes. Nope. So I'm not sold. Forget it. Yep. I don't want them. Nope. So no. if you like that plank look, you just got to keep them a little bit shorter. You don't want to go the full 40 inches long. No. You know, I don't know what the magic number is, to be honest with you, but it's definitely not 40. I'll tell you that. So. Well, I was supposed to, I just had a bust up tile. The last Thursday, and I thought it was, would take a half a day to do it because we're doing the kitchen remodel, and the the, the big twelve by twelve, you know, mm, tile, yep, yep, heavy. Oh my god! Mm. I, I bought the contractor bags, the real contractor bags that you can reuse them. Yep, so heavy. Got to lug them down the stairs to get them out to the the, mm-hmm. the trailer. Anyway, bum 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 bum, do that. Yep, and then we got the loo on, and I'm like, hey, let's just take the loo on up because the pine floor is going to match the other pine floor. We're going to be all set. Mada ba ba. Get the Luan up, and I look over, and I go, oh, my God. We're still too high. Uh, we got to take the subfloor off, the three-quarter inch <laughs> subfloor. That's, awesome. got, that's crucified to the freaking original flooring, which got these was long it, three-inch it, screws. Was it also glued? Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's bad enough if you got a lot of nails and everything, or even if it screws, but when you start trying to pull it up and you they've glued it down, forget it. So I've got, I've got my wrecking bar the best I can. Remind you, all right. We're in that humid, hot weather, mm-hmm. the wussy weather. Yep. We're yep. dying. I've got Henry. i got Ron. They're both swearing at me. It, we're working <laughs> overtime. we got to get it up because the flooring guys are coming tomorrow to put stuff in. Ugh. So the guys left at 530. I stayed by myself, and I just worked it, popping screws, knocking this out, knocking that out. And I, I worked till about almost 8 o'clock that night, and I was exhausted. I went home. I got up in the morning. I went down to the... Uh, rings end and I bought myself one of those freaking long bars with the flat end on the other yep, end yep. and you, it's got a, it's got a um, butt end on the other end and you slam it with your hand and boom I, had, I popped up all the edging and I got it all up and you know flooring guys can be very funny when they show up to lay a floor they can act like rock stars and go yeah, you got a couple screws here. We're back. Yeah, we're out of here yep. see you later <laughs> see you in a couple weeks Good now, luck getting let back. me know when you're done yep. you know these guys walked in, Nantucket Flooring. Mm-hmm. Unbelievable. Guys came in. Oh, yeah, no problem. Yeah. Hey, no, we got the tools. We can help you with that. We got that. Sure, no problem. And the original ply, we got busted up a little bit. He goes, yeah, we should really replace this piece. So I went out. I got it. I was going to go put it down. He goes, no, 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 no. Dropped it down, screwed it off for me. I was like, I was so amazed. I was so happy. Yeah, thankful. These guys were, oh, absolutely. Yeah. And they did phenomenal work. Nice. And phenomenal work. And Good. Yeah. I, I was like, wow. So impressed with them. Very impressed. Niantic flooring. Good, Nian- good going. No. Guys. Nope. Nantucket. Nantucket. Sorry. Nantucket. No, what's your age? Niantic? Kid? No. Nantucket. No. <laughs> Nantucket. Nantucket. Got it. <laughs> yeah. Good guys. Nice. Uh, well done, guys. Yeah. Anything else before I get into something else? No, I'll let you do your thing. Okay. So, in this episode, I would like to donate. I would like to... Uh, dedicate this one to a very good friend of mine, 
uh, Bob Brannigan, who has passed away, who has left us at 79 years old. Um, he was... He was young. Yeah. He, the man who lived life to, to the fullest. Mm-hmm. He was amazing. Um, oh, my... He, was, he had such a great life. Um, he treated me like a son. The whole family treated me like family. Mm. Uh, you knew them. Um, yep. was a sweet couple. They were like they could have been the poster children for AARP. I think you were you were working with me right when we first started doing yeah, work there. Yeah, so, I was so yeah. nervous working for him. Yeah, you know, and he was a pharmacist for the Coast Guard here. Right, uh, right, and, right. And, yeah. um, he was very methodical, and we're like, oh, my God, this guy's going to be tough. <laughs> and um, Well, I think I eventually got fired, and then he ended up going with you. And he ended so. up going with me. Well, you, t- you, didn't, you didn't tell jokes like I told the right, jokes. Right, that's true, that's true. So that was it, and they, and they took me in like a son, and it had been amazing. And i just go over there after work and have um, have a cup of coffee, and we'd talk, and we'd laugh. And they were very supportive of me and my film work and the music, everything. They were just like, they were they were there all the time. Yeah, it was, nice. It was fascinating. But this kind of goes into what our, our show is. Um, I just want to add this. When he, Bob retired, I said, you know, what are you going to do, man? You know, what are you going to do now? And he looked at me and he said, you know what? I used to have a train set. And I was like, really? He's like, yeah. And he said, I'm thinking about just for, you know, for my mentality and just for occupy some time and for my grandson and my grandkids, I want to get the train set going again. And he still had some of the original stuff, which was oh, amazing. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Which is, it's the small ones, right? Yeah, yeah. So, and he still had a lot of the track and stuff like that. And, and he, he said, you know, could we set up a four by eight sheet of plywood? So we did. So <clears throat> it got to the point where I was working with him and coming over after work and stuff. He says, listen, I'll pay you to help me build my train set. Like, can you do stuff? I go, yeah. Like we can make tunnels and we can make hills and bridges and stuff. So I applied all the theater art production work that I used to right. use in yeah. my art stuff. So we'll post them on our, on our website. Oh, cool. That would be great. But anyway, um, it got to the point, I think when we were finished, um, it was somewhere between 12 by 14. Wow. Um, and his, his grandson, Aiden, um, would come down, but it got so wide, how was Aiden going to get to all the train tracks and everything else? Oh, so sure. what we did... I made a lake in the very in the middle of it, a yep. fake lake, and we cut a hole. So all you had to do was you could crawl under the table, pick the lake up, and move it. <laughs> yeah, you know, which looked really cool. It was a couple people canoeing in it. You yeah. know, it looked really great. Yeah, yeah, swamp grass and stuff. And he'd get in there and they put things together. Now, um, when I got the phone call, I went to see the family. Um, I saw Aiden, and he had a GoPro camera and he put it on the train. Uh, and it goes through the train tracks and tunnels yeah, and everything yeah, yeah, else yeah, and yeah, all yeah. the mountains. Yeah. It looks phenomenal. Oh, cool. I said, so he's going to give it to us. Maybe nice. we can post it on our page nice. and stuff like that. Um, but I got to tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. You know, you, you kind of think, you know, it's a little bit quirky. You know, he goes, oh, you know, you're hung up on trains. It's got a lot more to do than that yeah. because when you – and it's hard. mm when you try to figure out running track, mm-hmm. you really got to think about how you're going to do it because it doesn't work sometimes. Even making bridges and things like that. And we would stand, we would sit down there, him and myself, him, him and me, or me and him, and we'd try to figure it out. And it was so funny one time we said, you know, we'll go down there for about 15 minutes and hang out and see what we can come up with. <laughs> a little while later, uh-huh. Sue says, "Hey, you guys want to come on upstairs have a coffee and some snacks?" And we're like, "Yeah." What time? You've been down there for three hours. <laughs> Had no idea. Wow. We were down there for three hours. Yeah. You know, and he, we just felt so accomplished, and he felt so accomplished, and he was so proud of what he did for his for his grandkids. Yeah. It was, and it was just an amazing thing just doing that. And I'm like, God, I, I was. I was impressed with myself on some of the stuff that I was building. Yeah. And uh, he had some great imagination too. And then I finished what I could finish, and he went to do what he was going to do, and. I'd go back and go see what he had done and go, oh my God, he would just, he would build on it and build on it. He would go to trade shows or whatever, mm-hmm. buy stuff online, yeah. go to people's houses, go find some stuff. He found some great, great stuff. Nice. Uh, great models and stuff. Yeah. 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 I don't think I've ever told you this, but that's like what I want to do when I retire. Train set? Train set. Love train sets. Do you really? Yeah, I would love to build like the whole little town and everything else. Oh, be, it's very cool. Yeah, very cool. Very cool. I've always said that for years. That would be like my... Boy, one thing that I would really enjoy doing when I retire. He set up streetlights that lit, lit up. You yep. know what I mean? Yep. I, made, I made a Grand Central Station. 
Oh, cool. And he ended up putting the lights in the tunnel. Oh, so wow. when the train would come in, it was all the tunnel was lit up. Oh, very cool. I made this huge um, cave, this tunnel, this cave. And but the trains could go in the tunnel and the trains could go on top. Okay. So it was it's a double deck. I gotta show you a picture of yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the trees and the rocks and the sand and the grass and the stone and it was just like, Wow, I did this. I wow, I really did this. This is this is crazy. Yeah. So he was impressed, Sue was impressed. Uh, I was impressed, and I'm devastated that he's gone. But um, nothing but great memories with Bobby. I call him Bobby. I called him Dad. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's just lovely. I'm I'm going to um, I'm st- I'm actually giving the eulogy of him. Oh, are you on on Thursday? And I think yeah. that's quite an honor. Very much. So. Um, Not easy. And I'm just I'm I'm just so I'm so like touched and moved by the family that they took me in, and they they said you are family, you know. And I've mm-hmm. always felt that, but. To get that correspondence with the whole family it was just—it's a wonderful, wonderful feeling. It really is. Yeah, they were. So. Well, they were a nice couple. I don't know the rest of the family, but they were a very nice. Yeah, couple. family. She, just she was a sweetheart. I yeah. mean, she always had snacks and everything for yeah. the guys when we worked and stuff. Yeah. She's like, stop now and just come on in and eat. And she's yeah. Like, okay. Can I get you anything? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, Bobby was a—he um, was a wine connoisseur. Oh no kidding! So when I he came that. over, oh my yeah, he could just come over and he had oh he had the the best. He he liked Bogle was one of the wines he really? had. Really? Okay. Yeah. All right. And um, it's just everything about him. And he was um, you know, he, he really enjoyed his retirement. Mm-hmm. I never heard a, I really never ever heard a bad word out of him. Um, he always had something positive to say, and he was giggly, and he was, you know, he loved his wife, he loves his kids, he, mm-hmm. and he loved a gr- he loved a good joke. Yeah. And he always came back with some. <laughs> um, yeah, and he loved traveling when he had it. So he really got the best, and he got the advantage out of his life. Um, um, I don't know what else, you know. I don't think – I think the only regret he may ever have is said, that he said he didn't say I love you enough. Yeah. But he said, I was there, dude, when I'd be at the house, mm-hmm. working on the house. And the, she'd be home. You know, she stayed at home. Mm-hmm. And the phone rang. And this is when he was working. So yeah. he was down at, doing the pharmacy. And uh, he'd call her and just check in. Mm-hmm. And it was always an I love you. And he would call maybe twice a day. Really? Just to check in and just wow. say, I'm going to say I love you. Yeah. And she'd say, I love you. You know, and nice. it was just like a nice. That's beautiful, sweet. loving couple. Um, something to learn from, you know, that they made it through all those years. I mean, they, over 50 years, easy. Oh, uh, sure. I uh, would imagine. You know? Yeah. 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 Because, yeah. I mean, that that was their both of their first marriage, right? Yeah. yeah they didn't have... Yeah, so yeah. definitely over 50. Yeah, so uh, a shout-out to you, Bobby. Uh, hopefully I'll see you up there. Um, I don't take the wrong escalator down. <laughs> I probably won't see you. So. <laughs> oh, man, I know you're, you're going to better places than I uh, am. So. <laughs> you know, thank, you, thank you for being in my life, my brother. There you go. That uh, was a wonderful, wonderful thing. Nice. Yeah, Very nice. It's great. And, and what's she doing? Is she going to stick around or is she going to go uh, They talk the family? Fam- the family's awesome because they're all – Howling against her, and it was funny. Her her daughter, um, her daughter Kathy, called me the other day, and she says, "Jimmy, I just want to let you know, we have been laughing so hard, you know, today, and it's been such a great release, and it's great to be, you know, be with Ma, and um, you know, there are some sad times, but they've been having, they've been having very healing moments, and a lot of good mm-hmm. things happening, and it's just like, you know, that's 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 wonderful. It really is, you know. Um, cele- so we're gonna celebrate his life on Thursday, man. Nice. Yeah. yeah nice. Yeah. So. And was he sick at no, all? No, no. Right? Unfortunately, it was um, the detail was that he had a he had a massive heart attack and it was quick mm. and it was very fast and um, it was a shock to everyone. Um, and um, I'm just I'm just grateful that it was not a long illness, right? And yeah. seen any deterioration. Yeah, yeah. You know, sad to see him go. It is a shock, but uh, it was a blessing that it went this way. Yeah, you know. Yeah, we um, could all hope for something that like yeah. that quick and. You know. you know, obviously not great for the family because they didn't, they weren't ready. Yeah. You know, but yeah. then again, you never can be. Well, when you're leaving, you know, I, I learned a lot from them and I just learned a lot from, you know, other friends that I have that are sick and ill and a lot of other friends that have passed on that the day is, you know, I never, ever say in my life, um, I wish this day was over and never say that because for some people, they wish that day wasn't over because they're breathing their last, mm-hmm. you know? And there's people out there fighting for their lives every day. And I know people like that who do that. So I have nothing to complain about. Even though when the day, the day is a bear and it's kicking my ass and we're just trying to get through it and I'm stressed out, it's like 
it's still okay. Yeah. We're gonna, Somebody out there has got it worse than you. Absolutely, man. You know? Yeah. You know? With, with everything you read in the news and hear about and stuff and the stuff people go through and, mm. you know, more killings and, you know, shootings and stuff. Jesus. I mean, yeah, you lose a six-year-old son in a, in a shooting. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it's terrible. It is terrible. You know, and I, and I have to say, you know, um, I'm glad I have the job that I have because I get to meet new people just mm-hmm. like you do. Mm-hmm. Um, we get to create. Yep. Um, we get to stress out together. Yep. And and at the same time that we, we build something and we usually, you know, walk away with with everything everything covered. Everything everything that we wanted to happen does happen. Yep. And it you know and, and it works out. And um it's always different. It's not mundane, you know. No, 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 it's never boring. No. <laughs> not doing what we do. It's never boring. No. And um I don't take my friends advantage I don't take advantage of uh you know friendship or anything like yep. that. i mean disadvantage i should say but you know everything that you have and everyone who's in your life i don't mean to get deep on this but <laughs> i'm sorry but um it's just you know it's a blessing everyone yeah. who's been in my life it's been a blessing yeah and everybody who's been a jerk to me well <laughs> You're a jerk, and you're not in my life anymore, so go figure it out. Uh, <laughs> a pile of jackasses you had in your life? Oh, my God. Yeah. Well, not really. I got, no? I, got a, I got a cart full of them, yeah, well, but they went it. off the cliff a long time ago, so that's okay. <laughs> that's good. That's yeah. really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's yeah, where yeah. they belong. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, everybody, don't forget to say I love you. That's it's it. important. It really is. It means a lot. Yep. Mm. Anything else, man? Yeah, I think that's going to do it. Yeah? Yeah, I think that was a nice tribute to yeah. Bob yeah you know and everybody stay safe out there and you know practice safety when you're working with tools and everything else yeah. so you know be be aware of what you're doing yeah so and then uh, we'll do it again next week what do you absolutely think? yeah alright All right. All right, everybody have a great day All right. peace see out see bye. ya bye